Okay, hello. I'm Andreas Bank, Chief Engineer from MNK Medium Speed Engines. Um, I would like to talk about future fuel options based on our dual fuel engines and the case of methanol for our and our focus on sustainable solutions. On the agenda is our dual fuel engine portfolio for, of MRK medium speed engines. These engines fulfill IMO tier 3 in gas mode and IMO tier 2 in diesel mode with an SCR catalyst that can be upgraded to IMO tier 3. After that, I would like to give an outlook to methanol, which is a good alternative for green applications. With green methanol, the greenhouse gas footprint can be improved by 80%. And at the end, I would like to talk about additional green alternative fuel options, which might be used for some with some adjustments. Dual fuel solutions are offered for the engine portfolio and for the engine platforms M32E and M43C. Core engine components are unchanged but larger piston diameter is used to reduce the mean effective pressure. Additionally, a gas supply and ignition system is added because 1% diesel is used to ignite the mixture. An air fuel ratio control is added and is part of the new engine control. Two fuel engines are inherently safe and fulfill IGF code requirements. The dual fuel engine portfolio covers a range of 3000 to 15,440 kW with two bore sizes and several cylinder numbers in inline and reconfiguration. First is the inline M34DF with 340 mm bore and 550 kW per cylinder. Second is the M46DF with 460 mm bore and 965 kW per cylinder. This engine is offered in inline and reconfiguration. These engines are optimized for LNG combustion, controllable pitch propeller in reliable speed, and on the other side for electrical drive in 50 and 60 Hertz application. Dual fuel engines in gas mode offer significantly lower emissions of particulate matter and sulfur oxide. In this diagram, we compare diesel and HFO operation in IMO tier 3 mode with LNG combustion. Compared to HFO operation with STR and scrubber, the greenhouse gas emissions of LNG are reduced by 8%. In this slide, we show some references of our dual fuel engines. These are used in cargo vessels, dredgers, ferries, and cruise ships. The first 6M46DF has been converted in 2014 and has been operated approximately 30,000 hours after conversion. Followed by all cylinder versions from six cylinder to 16 cylinder V-type in the recent years. V-types are in service in several cruise ships in Europe and in the US. In the next slides, I would like to talk about our methanol concept, which is based on the dual fuel engines. In the diagram on the left from DNV, we compare the energy density of various fuels. Methanol is in a similar range of LNG if the space claim of the storage system is considered. Compared to hydrogen, methanol is a good compromise. Renewable hydrogen may be used directly or converted to several other alternative fuels like green methane or green methanol. But for a decision on future fuels, we need to consider also bankering intervals which are not only depending on tank size, but also on boil off gas amounts and fuel aging. If we compare all these aspects, methanol might be a suitable alternative future fuel for marine applications. As mentioned, methanol has a lower caloric value compared to diesel. This leads to additional effort in redesign of tanks, pipes, pumps, and fuel injection systems. Additionally, the viscosity of and the viscosity and the lubricity is very low. Swelling of gaskets may occur. And all these factors need to be considered for a redesigned fuel injection system. Quite positive is the molecule structure, which leads to a very clean combustion. On the other hand side, methanol is toxic and a low flash point fuel. 
which needs to be considered in the safety concept. Concept development is done for the M34DF and conversions of M32E engines is in scope. The combustion concept is based on a direct fuel injection at top dead center. Ignition is done with approximately 3% diesel and it's a diffusion flame combustion as known from diesel engines. The transient performance is also similar to diesel because air fuel ratio control is not required. A change over from methanol to diesel backup mode will be possible with a special fuel circulating module. The NOx emissions will be on IMO tier 2 level in methanol and also in diesel backup mode. IMO tier 3 emissions can be achieved with SCR catalyst. The safety concept is based on the dual fuel engine. Fuel systems are double walled and equipped with leakage monitoring. Several pressure relief valves are mounted on the crankcase, charger duct, and on the exhaust pipe system. Combustion monitoring with in-cylinder pressure sensors is applied also. Dual fuel engines offer even the capability to use alternative fuels with lower greenhouse gas footprint. LNG might be blended with bio-LNG or even synthetic methane, also named green methane. Pilot fuel for Ignition can be changed to hydro-treated vegetable oil, HVO, which, which is a very good and stable kind of biodiesel. Also in diesel mode, biodiesel as HVO or FAME, a fatty methyl ester, can be used. For all of these options, some adjustments of settings are necessary, but, but we would be happy to support this. The methanol concept can also be applied for some other alternative fuels like ethanol or dimethyl ester. Backup fuel might be biodiesel and pilot fuel can also be changed to HVO. The MAK dual fuel engine conversions can be offered for M34DF and M46DF. We cover a power range from 3000 to 15,440kW for LNG combustion. The Engines are engineered and optimized for marine applications, and the methanol solution is thinking forward for fuel applications with a more sustainable future. Well, thank you for your attention.